Nigeria as a country has failed on so many grounds, from insecurity to corruption, to economic hardship, to decline in the health sector, to religious extremism, to police brutality. And as if all these are not enough, our education system is crumbling right in front of our eyes. Education is one of the most important weapons in a country. We should not, by a slightest of chance, lose sight of our once ambitious team for education. Uh, the President Mohamed Obari led the administration over time has failed Nigerian students. Nigerian students at all levels. The educational sector has been bastardized. The Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, went on a three month warning strike sometime in February, and the average Nigerian student has since then been thrown into a continuous loop of activities. I mean, it's wake up, eat, press food, watch movies, sleep. Wake up, eat, press food, watch movies, sleep. It's a continuous cycle, like I said. At the beginning, it's usually interesting. It's usually, um, uh, I really needed this break. I needed to rest. Exams are fast approaching, and I've not read nada. I'm going to use this strike to read my books. But as time goes by, it becomes monotonous and exhausting and depressing. And we don't want that. We're not built like that. And the strike is just bad news in general. Two weeks ago, the strike was meant to be suspended as that marks the end of three months. But the federal government did not meet demands of us to, and the strike was extended for another three months. Now, this is where it gets frustrating because three months, come on now. I don't think we as students can really do anything. I mean, of course, we can rant and pour our frustrations online. But we can't really do anything. It's not up to us. It's not in our control. However, some people have gone ahead to organize peaceful protests in different parts of the country. And I really commend those people. Because the federal government have proven to be unresponsive to such approach. I mean, the federal government is unresponsive to any approach at all. But maybe, just maybe, really can be heard. <laughs> Education in the 21st century still suffers in the hand of the careless leaders that we have elected. I've been in Fanaya for two years. I did not speak, but I've spent two years in Fanaya because of our strike. We students, we have been frustrated and our visions have been cut short. We have dreams, we have plans, we have future. Why is government doing us this? The federal government should do something. The amount of time that a Nigerian student experiencing strike in the duration of time spent in school is just insane the whole educational system is a joke because the strike will be called off now students will resume and students will start using half the time they are normally meant to spend in class let's say that the semester is meant to last for four months students will be using two months in class the syllabus will be rushed the workload will be too much how do you expect the students to perform I do expect the students to function. I genuinely feel like they don't have us in mind or they feel like we are robots, that we can adjust to any condition because it's just unfair. The whole strike affects educational redeem. It affects overall performance because in the long run, when we all graduate, I do expect somebody that spent six years for a four-year course in school under circumstances like strike, rush syllabus, too much workload. I do expect that person to function compared to somebody that spent four years straight, no strike, good conditions, you can't expect these two people to perform the same way. Obviously, functionality will be different. The pressure to pick up a skill is also a lot. As a matter of fact, I just want to go to school and get my degree from. Many of us are doing things mainly for survival and not passion. It's not like we really like these things, but Mr. Kwan don't choke me. At least so that I can sustain myself for the main time. I'm not saying it's not great to be skilled. Mm -mm. I'm just saying that the country has subjected a lot of us to second choices that we naturally don't go for. Let's even assume that I start a trade or I pick up a skill or I start an internship program somewhere. And it takes a lot to dedicate time and effort to these things. I would not be surprised if as a cause of the strike, a week or two weeks after you dedicate time or after you start this thing. Whatever approach you take, Sha, you are fucked. The system is, is, is built to focus on. The mental torture we all feel is all matched. So then there is a reason to call off the strike and then you get optimistic and they extend the strike. And next week there's another meeting and you get your hopes up again. Maybe this time they'll call off the strike. 
and <laughs> of course the strike is extended the mental torture that comes from seeing your mate progress and you be stuck the mental torture that comes from knowing that time is not on your side the mental torture that comes from knowing that all your set goals are changing not of your own will cannot be studying four years course for nine years because of ASU strike coronavirus came we, stu we, we stayed at home ASU strike came we stayed at home just January year we resumed February 14th they went on strike again my medical have expired my medical have graduated before me as a graduate you can't even move forward you cannot jack by you cannot process your transcript you cannot even go for service because you have not been cleared by now I should be in 500 level, but yeah, look at me, I'm staying 400 level. A big girl like me, 400 level, like, imagine you three, they look, I'm saying, you know, make. The whole ASU strike situation is just very frustrating. It's a very sad situation. It's very tiring. It's physically, emotionally, and mentally draining. I think its effect on our mental health is not talked about enough. I've gone through a lot during the strike. Like, a lot has happened. Depression. Anxiety, it has the most effect on our mental health as students. The uncertainty of anything, the uncertainty of the future, the stagnation in your plans. Some people don't even talk to anybody aside their parents. Some people don't leave their house all week long. They don't have anywhere to go. There is no motivation to do anything, to even get up in the mornings. As someone that writes, I've been having like writer's block because nothing is motivating me. It's just the same routine every day, sleep, wake up, do some house jobs. So it's just tiring. I don't even want to come online to chat. Like I don't want to talk to people. I just want to be by myself. I mean, how is that not depressing? How is that not sad? Even to the little things, like somebody asks you, when will you be done? As you can see, we are on strike. I don't know. Or your parents taking it out on you. Ma, I know you've paid out right, but I'm sorry, I'm not the cause of the strike. It is also very audacious of them that this strike is going on during campaign periods. We are seeing our uh, ministers of education, we are seeing several persons purchasing form for the forthcoming presidential elections, but nobody's saying anything about the educational sector. And we all know that for tomorrow to be bright, education must be right. I mean, they don't even rate us. Let's even assume that Buhari does not care because his regime is almost over. What of Oshibanju? Is he not aspiring to be the next president? <laughs> the government is fucked. Um, pick up a skill if you can. Pick up a skill if you want to. If you want to do anything, now is the time to do it. Don't wait for this country. Don't allow this country to tie you down or keep you stagnant. Find joy in the little things. I know it's sad. I know it's depressing. But find joy in the little things. Don't allow this country to take your joy. Don't allow this country to wound you. Hmm. Don't forbid. Do I want them to call off the strike now? Yes! I'm already tired. No. Simply because I have exams and our syllabus is kind of like bulky. Even they want to call the strike, they should please give us like a month's notice. I know that's kind of impossible, but they should give us like a month's notice that okay, we are going to call up the strike this time and this time so that I will start reading and preparing. I've not been reading. Okay, today I decided to take my book. Okay, today has even been a very eventful day for me. I decided to take my book. I read, at least I read almost five pages. Yes, I did it like. <laughs> If I read now, I'm going to forget. I'm not ready for school stress. Before I leave, I will leave with a quote or a proverb. Because the elders say, nobody is a virgin in this country. The government fucks us all up. Thank you. See you next time.